The recent wave of resignations within the EFF underscores the consequences of poorly managing a political party. These high-profile exits highlight crucial lessons, the need for clear paths to leadership, the dangers of admitting influential defectors, and the risk of building a party around a single dominant personality. For the EFF, which is grappling with the declining support, the impact is significant. Earlier this year, there was talks of Julius Malema potentially securing a deputy presidency in the collision with the AC. Now, however, his position appears weakened, with the EFF facing a lower support than in 2019 and fewer reliable leaders in its ranks. Deputy Floyd Shivambu's departure to MK alongside figures like Mzwane Lemani, Busisi Mkwebani and Fano Mkwena marks a troubling shift. The emergence of MK might seem to be the cause of these challenges, but the underlying issues stem from earlier decisions. The EFF's strategy of quickly promoting influential newcomers, such as Mani and Mkwebani, often resulted in internal friction. Individuals who join with personal agendas often lack a long-term commitment to the party, and by prioritizing them, the party eliminated its dedicated members, signaling that their contributions were undervalued. Mani's case is emblematic of his dynamic while representing the EFF in Parliament. He continued his role as the spokesperson for Zuma's foundation, creating a dual loyalty that undermined his commitment to the EFF. Similarly, Mkwebane's ties to Zuma were apparent, even during her tenure as public protector, making her long-term loyalty to the EFF questionable. Furthermore, the EFF's decision to expel members who failed to mobilize sufficient support for the party's anniversary event at FNP Stadium sent a stern message. This move removed around 10% of its public representatives and discouraged ambitions of leadership among party members who saw that the position could be lost over minor infractions. The deteriorating relationship between Malema and Shivambu, who were once close allies, has further destabilized the party. Along with a drop in election support, the EFF's leadership appears increasingly fragmented. Despite this, it's premature to dismiss the EFF's potential to rebound. Political parties have often recovered from significant setbacks, and the EFF may still have a future. MK's quick rise, capturing over 14% of the national vote and 45% in Guazul Latam, shows that new political movements can quickly gain traction. However, MK itself faces obstacles, as its leader Zuma wields unchecked control with no internal pathways for others to advance, mirroring the EFF's own challenges. For the EFF to regain its standing, it must develop a renewed sense of purpose and shift its strategy. The DA, for example, managed to recover from a 1% vote loss in 2019 by rethinking its leadership, adjusting its message and heavily investing in voter engagement over a long period. To succeed, the EFF will need to refocus its effort on connecting with local structures, encouraging grassroots engagement and guiding voters to the polls rather than relying solely on high-profile events. Ultimately, if the EFF seeks to regain its relevance, it must communicate a compelling purpose. With more parties competing for voters' attention, the EFF has to build trust and credibility within the electorate. A clear vision and consistent local engagement may provide the foundation the EFF needs to make a political comeback.